story is Bad Boy Gets Handpacked by Maggie Palantini and Henry Cole. Reading by Mimi. Let's read it. Those bad boys, really and really wolf, were hungry. Belly babbling, tummy tucking, gut gumbling, hungry. There's a cake, a meat, cupcake, cherry, uh, cherry on top, cupcake. Here's a uh, pancake, pie, uh, chicken, gingerbread. And what better to wolf down than delicious, delectable, finger licking good chicken dinner with left? Over sandwiches for uh, the week. Oh yeah, we are bad, bad, really bad. Snickered the two with a uh, slobber and a slurp as they eyed the old hen house. Here's a hen. What will happen next? Of course, running off with the lovely fat feathers. Fall was not going to be easy, not one bit. Getting into the coop and gaining the trust of the lady of the house was going to be take fitness while one big sneaky trick. Really looked really, really looked really. The two giggled. Brandy though, what that little woman need was some help around the house, and who better for the job than the handy dandy limp Lupino brother? We'll clean up and take out. Torted really, really. How devious! How deceitful! How perfect delightful! Yes, those boys were bad, bad, really, really bad. Good day, madam, greeted really as Mrs. Han opened the door. Are you tired, Rondal? Pooped. Is your roof leaking? Paint peeling? Needs the lawn mode, a light bulb changed. Then the handy dandy Lupino brothers are at your service. Good gracious, clucked Han. You gentlemen are just what I need. That old rooster of mine has flown the coop and I could use some help around the house, but all I can afford to pay is mere chicken feed. Really winked at really, really winked at really. Chicken feed, said really with a sly smile. Madam, we love getting pay in chicken feed. Absolutely adore it. All great rally with a bit of droll. We work for cheap. The hand threw off her apron. What? When can you start? The bad boys grinned from year to year. Immediately, they both answered. But before the boys could re reach to their pockets for napkins, Mrs. Han handed them two a aprons, a bucket, and a mop. Really look at really bucket? Really look at really mop? They looked at each other. Aprons? Here's a list of what to do. I will be back before supper. 
Mrs. Hen called over her shoulder. Ta ta, so long, good luck. The boys watched their chicken dinner fly out the door. They gazed down at the list. It was a very long list. Sweep the porch, mop the kitchen, scrub the bathroom, vacuum the rugs, dust the tables, polish the silverware, wash the clothes, hang the clothes, iron the clothes, watch the chicken, chickies, bath the chickies, feather the nest, sit in the nest, and take. Out the garbage, housework. That wasn't exactly what they had planned. It. Pip 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 pip. The chickies pecked, poked, and pulled at Willy. They pecked, poked, and pulled at Willy. Willy groaned. I will start the laundry. You take. Care of the chickies and no snacking before dinner. So Willie watched, 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 while Willie washed, 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 and swept, mopped, dusted, polished, vacuumed, scored, scrubbed, and Willie watched, watched, watched. I'm exhausted, huffed Willie. You, dear chum. I am about to faint," puffed Willy. "Oh, the peeping has given me a splitting headache. I must lie down. Brain ditto. Last one to the last is a rotten egg. They both said, heading for the hay. The little chickies were left. To amuse themselves, and they did. Oh my, they did. Oh my gosh. I'm so poor for their Willie and Willie brothers. They will very surprising when they will wake up. Pop 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 pop. Mr. Lupino, Mr. Lupino. Cried Mrs. Hen as she walked through the door. What exactly has been going on here? I do believe we are being dismissed, dear boy. Can't a、uh, ostate fired? Said Mrs. Hen. Crickle, crickle, crickle. Pop, 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 pop. Brain ditto. We are most definitely out of here. I do believe I have less of taste for chicken. Said Willy. Couldn't agree more, dear Paul. Said Willy. Besides, I'm just too tired to cook tonight. Those hand-packed bad boys ate their peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. They wanted to stay. Say it was bad, bad, really, really bad day, but they could not. The peanut butter was stuck to the roof of their mouths. I'll be back soon. Thank you for listening. Bye bye.